guys, welcome back into another episode or chapter slash episode, no, an episode, episode four, chapter one, The Spearhead. Uh, we're going to start off really just diving straight into it. If you guys didn't see the last um, episode and video, I highly recommend it because that kind of gave us a lot more insight from our mom as to what is going on and what we're, our whole objective is. It's a little still vague, but long story short, if you guys weren't able to catch it, um, there are two demons, that's four, there's two demons on the, um, on the island and one is currently in Lord Mortimer and then another in home. However, these demons have the ability to basically dive into other people and kind of, I guess, possess anybody. It's really like the way that they're labeling it is really just sounding like possession. Um, and so we're trying to aid in our mom vanquishing these demons from, I guess, existence. Uh, yeah just existence and through that we actually were dealing with a contraption at the end of the last episode which led me to uh losing my hand yeah so at the end of the last episode i severely screwed up and i i still like we'll see what the answer is i mean hopefully we're able to give it another crack at it in this episode but your girl lost her hand and that one was on me so anyway, let's go ahead and get started and see where I messed up. And also, I'm interested to see who guessed it correctly and and just kind of hear y'all's responses to it. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode as always. And I will see y'all. <laughs> so much of me wants to just go back and replay this chapter and see if it actually changes anything. But that is completely against uh, just the rules that I've just created in my head. I'm just not gonna be the type of, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go back and change the past. What's done is done. My mistakes were made and I have to pay for them. So let's, let's dive in. Oh, I got a valid, I got a hold. <laughs> okay, so at the end or in the last episode, I should say we did end up finding one manuscript and then we also found pieces for these two. But right now we're pretty much hard stuck at least we did find one last stream i don't know where i missed all these other ones so i'm gonna need to go back and look at the higher shelves if you guys saw in the last um the last episode i found a lot up high and i just didn't realize that i was missing those so maybe they're up high i need to start going through the bookshelves more yeah we lost our hands. i sense that mr peru is about to surprise us too i believed in him I followed him to the best of my ability. Wait, what? I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting mm. your time. Okay, Louis she's recapping well everybody's thoughts. And Someone moments. had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. See, I still don't understand the things, demon's Monsieur purpose or there objective. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. At least they refilled our meter a little bit. Let's go ahead and remove those effects from us. And uh, let's see how it's like having one arm. Filthy swine! I'm going to open this damn door and skin you alive! You're not going to get the better of us! Oh my... Mother? Louis, you've come around. How do you feel? Uh... I... I... It hurts. Mother? I... I... I can't feel my arm. Oh Louis, my gosh. I had to cauterize it with what I could find. Where's my arm? We'll get through this, Louis. Don't worry. I think I found a solution. You'll see. I mean... We gotta leave. Okay. No, don't, don't put your arm in there. Louis, we can't leave without it. It's our last chance. Um, I need to see this through to the end. I must do it. She's gonna lose both hands. Wait. We've done it, Louis. Look. Stubborn as a mule. How did she solve Come it? Come on, up you get. 
I'll help you. Easy does it. You've lost a lot of blood. I got my nose uh, scratched. I'm no. missing a hand. Let's take what we came for. I want to know how she managed to open it. Wait. I've got to know what I did wrong. That is one fearsome mechanism. In fact, if I hadn't watched you beforehand, I would never have found the right combination. Tell me. The where man. did I go wrong? Tell me where I went wrong. The nails were right. The three nails? Yes, it, it's true. They let you open the iris. Yes, but you still need to find the right, right theme. theme, don't you? The fresco was a trap. Apart from the fresco, everything pointed to the crucifixion. Right. The things right. that make it possible to activate the mechanism are associated with the crucifixion. Which we got right. The cross to activate the mechanism and the nails to choose a date. I know the first. And the end. Well, how did you manage to crack the puzzle? Then I had to link the crown of thorns. I got that to right. The date of the crucifixion. We got that according right. According to the exegesis. But I failed to understand the first no. time. With that theme in mind, I chose 26M, which represents the 26th. I messed up. I didn't refer to the ex I didn't refer to the book of Judas. I referred to the Bible that we found. Of March. To uh, conclude, I messed the I date had to up. use the armillary sphere to find the moon corresponding to the day of the crucifixion. Oh my gosh. Which turned out to be in the first quarter. All that was left to do was to link all those elements. That's so on the same painful. Axis. I messed it up. 26 March. All right, well, at least I'm walking it off. I'm quite literally walking it off. That is going to be really hard not to beat myself up over that. Also, did we just walk into hell? This is the crypt? <laughs> but where are we? There's no I way know, this was below. We'd better keep our guard up. What did she do to find it? What did she think she was going to find? Be it? careful, mother. This cannot be As all underneath it. Won't make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is yes. not enough? Do you this has to be his one-way quick You've path to hell or there. something. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the? All right, holy it really lance? is my mom, though. The what? The lance of Longinus the Centurion. Hmm. Let's do the occultism version. Yes, the centurion that pierced the sight of Christ with his lance. That weapon naturally became a holy relic. Exactly. Seriously, you don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? We'd well, use the now spear. you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island. I have as to find it, and can. she just gets to go. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on, I Louis. I feel like with her strings and stuff, they'll we be able to create us like a prosthetic or something for our hands. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. At least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well. You can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. I want to know why she shot Emma. Let's ex Hang on yeah. a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time yes. for this? Yes. <laughs> Insist, goddammit. Oh, I don't have enough conviction. I want to know, Mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the Al-Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons, or we are all doomed, don't you see? Mm. Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, there must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is, 
I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing will stop you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. She's stumbling Choose a lot. Choose <laughs> only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet Maybe me on the wharf. The and if I get caught, I feel like I'm going to fail all these instructions. The lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaggi. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. So, I think this is a bad idea because there's no way they're not going to look at me and be like, I wonder what happened to the man's hands. There's going to be traps in here. I can't just run all around here. It says, question Cardinal, Cardinal Piaggi about the Holy Lands. All right, we need to get back into it. Let's see if there's any any coins or anything in this vicinity. Oh gosh, that's so weird. Um, that is infuriating to say the least. The Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. Remember or find a clue. The Gospel of Saint John is the most detailed on the subject of the crucifixion. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a shimmering lance pierced his side, and forthwith oh, there came yeah. out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness. And his it's record true. is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. Shimmering lance? What is this telling me? Find a clue of what the lance looks like. Know who it is. The medieval hermetic traditions evoke the idea of using noble materials for relics which the monasteries often made themselves in order to attract pilgrims. Of course, they had to inspire greatness. So here, we might think of gold, whereas a centurion could not have hoped for anything better than copper, copper. at the time. The true lance would not have been a luxurious weapon. Much like the cup. That just makes me think of that scene in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Is it? No, uh, Crusaders, no. Ah, the one where they're doing the test of faith and then they pick whichever one would have been the goblet and it's the one because he was a carpenter, it's made of, of wood, Roman it's nothing luxurious. Christ never appears in the biblical canon. Yet, it is said that he was a centurion and was huh. called Longinus. All right, so that's good to know that we're looking for something like copper. I think we're going to have to pick the right one when the time comes based off of what she was saying and how she was saying it. The thing is, how am I supposed to make it look like I didn't just get my hand chopped off? To Piaggio. I think like, and I'll do probably more of an in-depth review. Uh, in my, in my kind of like, my case notes in my uh, ending. However, I think one side of the game from like a game mechanic side, I just think that it would have been nice if they had a kind of like spawn to certain locations. But I guess the running from room to room is beneficial if at the time you're trying to like run into somebody possibly. That being said, I have stairs right here. We need to go find Piaggio. Let's try his room. I think that's gonna be where we look first. I also think she said to go look at his secret room or his study, I think in general. Let's look for paintings about it possibly. Huh, this is, I, I really wanna see the dynamic between the two demons, especially if they still are Holm and Mortimer. I. I don't understand. Oh, coming at it from a different angle. Oh, let's, uh, I actually don't think I ever really looked up. Let's try looking up. Oh, there is something. Did you hear that? There is something. It's not the door. Oh, oh, it is the door. So tricky. Hmm. Oh, 
there is another something. Oh, we've seen that one time and time again. That one is nothing new. Oh, okay. I'm getting like <laughs> debated by all of these. I'm really impressed by the storyline in this game, but more than anything, uh, them like piecing Golden things, hmm. piecing things to later. together. Uh, that was not there prior. I think they like are slowly adding a couple things here and there. I really just want to consume this food. My stomach is hungry. All right, Piaggi. Tell me what I need to know. Your eminence. Would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? Something's I wrong with his face. Alone. Very well. I, I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could... not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to what? Mr. Von Volner. He's one of the him. demons. I was wondering if He's you could tell the me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis. Don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Is he gonna Your jump eminence, off? Are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Right. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. The right please. side. I think that is important to wish. remember. What? Validate. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the holy lance mm. of Longinus, are you? Confrontation. What's wrong with him? Holy beans, eight point eight points? Wait, we need to remember what he's susceptible to. I love the confrontations. Which I'm not a confrontational person, but in a game I get to live out like I can be better about it. Um all right, Piaggi. He's vulnerable to questioning and logic, diversion, manipulation. All right, so you're looking for the, uh... Oh, oh, oh! Your eminence, you're worrying me. What is That's happening That's such a good use of that Nothing. item, you guys. Just a moment of weakness, but I'm better now. I am all ears. You are looking for the lance. You should I, I... know. You are not the only one. What? Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never. And it would just be right below him the whole time? But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? I think I should tell him the truth. But I don't trust the blood. I think he could be the demon. Because it can jump into anybody. Like, this is... I mean, either no or no. No. You are the first I've spoken to about it, Your Eminence. Calm now, Louis. Are you quite sure of that? You should trust me. I have to say my mother. I have to say yes, my mother. My mother knows about it. Of course, sir. I failed that one. Who else? No one else. What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? I don't trust him. To protect myself? Logic. But he's not weak to logic, right? He's weak to... Oh! <laughs> he's weak to... Immunity is logic. And vulnerability is questioning. Uh... Your eminence, I regret. I am unable to answer. Please understand that it, it pains me, but if I answered you, I, I would risk putting you in danger. Stop running around in circles. And just I think I still should win, though. Or you have to win the last one. I can't use logic. If I tell him Mortimer is going to be on my tail. But if I say nothing, I'm going to fail again. I think I get three chances, though. Nothing in particular. I, so I'd let's like do that. To study it. That's all. Louis, please. Last chance. I'm sure you can do better than that. Talent unlocked. Louis. I have you to should tell abandon him. your project. I say this for your own good. You will only get so stupid if you embark on this enterprise. Lead the lands where it is. Too many people have suffered because.
because of it. Please excuse me, Your Eminence. I'm, I'm in a terrible hurry. Of course you are. And you won't listen to my advice. Don't worry about me, Your Eminence. Everything is fine. That is not the impression you give. Minus oh. <laughs> one of your limbs. Wait, is he reacting to my arm at last? Good luck. No! There should have been a final opportunity. There should have been three chances. No! Trade unlocked choir boy. At least not an altar boy. Ah, uh, search for more clues. Possible information. I really messed up there. I should have just told him, but I don't think he would have given me any clues, and I don't know if it's bad to fail a confrontation. I... Specialist in... Okay, we need to go. I must find the Holy Lance. Mentions a shiny metal. Said it's... Oh, Piaget said it was in the shape of a leaf. But it's like a copper. It's not like a super shiny metal. What can I do for you, sir? Do you have any medicine? I am at your service day and night, sir. All right, there's nothing else that you can tell me that I haven't found out already. Let's go all the way up and let's look at the pictures of the Lance uh, in his office. He's sweeping. Yep, let's go around this way. He only just then noted my arm. I feel like I've been... <laughs> lots of fumbles, lots of fumbles lately. What is that giant? All right, that is... That, not a lance, that is a lance. Right. No. Saint Longinus. Let's no. take a closer look at his it lance. It is. Observe the lance. Like leaf, like oh, the it has lance, the fish. Maybe. It has the, um... Sure? Okay, I already took a closer look. I don't even think I have to use this because I already know what I'm looking at. It's the... I know exactly what that symbol is. Just... I don't want to pay for that. I think this statue does represent Longinus, armed with a lance that wounded Jesus. The Holy Lance. How can I find out if this is an exact representation? There's no way of being certain... Oh, of that is a downside. Let's leave it for now, though. And we could come back. But sure enough, it has the, the fish. And then I think he even was drawing a picture over here. No, that was something else. Maybe we should spend the point on it. Oh. Have we... Are these new? No, those are new. Do you think there's anything back behind? Alright, it doesn't give us the option to go behind. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and just use the points to look at it closer. But if it, all it tells me is about the fish, I'm going to be mad. Let's try also going in the office as well. St. Longinus. Let's take a closer look at his lance. Is there the lance? Like, a leaf, like, like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? Maybe the... Hey, looks like there's a symbol engraved on the tip. Yes, a I fish. I wasted it. A Christian fish, no doubt. Yeah. It can't be a coincidence. It... It must have been done on purpose. Huh. Good thing I took a closer look. We're leaving that. I wasted. Uh, search for more clues. There we go. All right. I'm trying to think where else there could be clues to it. Possibly the tower. The tower I wanted to go back, right? Oh, I need to, you know what I needed? I needed another one of these leaves up here. I should have also used a devil's thorn. Oh, I'm beating myself up over these choices right now. I would say, let us go, let's go into Piaget's room. Tower of Vulners. Didn't he say he's talked to Vulner about that spear before? Take a left. I think he has. Let's try his room. There might be something about the spear. It seems like he isn't here. 
I'm telling you, Volner is dead. I don't think it was a coincidence his body was just on the ground. It is a lot of occult things, but... Oh. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used Yeah, recently. we had not seen that I before. what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature, though, and leave as... Azif? Hello? Land. Le huh? How can I show what's written? Uh, decode the message on the blotter? How can I show... <sighs> it's illegible. See if I can find a solution in Volner's things here. Given his interest in alchemy, I wouldn't be surprised if I found something that revealed what's written somewhere in his room. Let's pick up the paper. Let's look at it. Where's Volner's? Sarah's note. Ah, uh, used blotter. I can't look at it closer. What a mess. Yeah. Looks like Volner was interrupted. Looks a lot like straw. And he's I should have put so much more into the occult. It's like a Oh, it's the symbol of the council, isn't it? That's the symbol of the game. I get the feeling that Yes. I've seen that somewhere before. I recognize these symbols. Both of them cost one. I would just say I've seen this before. Yes. It's definitely a drawing of the lock of Alazif. Yes. Volner must have kept a copy. Look more closely. A straw on his desk. As if to... As straw? As if to protect something fragile. Yes. Someone must have packed something away here. Hmm. I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. Alright, we already got there. So we can just go, can't think. Go back. Examine the things and then just read the letter. Uh, Johan, I know you're trying to find out what happened to Elizabeth, but it's getting out of hand now. Your escapade on the continent cost me enough as it is. I know it hasn't been easy for you leaving Elizabeth confined in her room for a month so she doesn't bump into Sarah. But to run away without warning? I had to lie to cover you, Johan. Act as if you arrived separately, only a few days ago, and persuade William to do the same with his guests. Uh, I demand that you come to your senses and take hold of yourself. I asked you to fetch something so we can get off the island, not for the study. It is in a vain hope of acquiring power. It won't give you any answers, let me be clear on that. At most, we run the risk of losing it again. So for the last time, please go and leave it at the agreed place. I can confirm that someone will pick it up immediately, Gregory. Nah, I can decode it, but that's going to cost me so much. Let's see if there's another way to decode it. I've already searched that, but let me be concerned. Table of alchemical that symbols. just says zinc. Someone's golden elixir. Let's try to research this. Oh! Wait. Ah. Okay, there's got to be something in here. Look, that was not there before. Said, That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. Hmm. Hmm. Give me the loot. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. Oh. <laughs> I think it's lime water. I could risk ruining the paper if I don't solve it correctly. I think it's lime water, you guys. I, I think I read somewhere that lime water was used on ancient manuscripts. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin it. All for some lime water. Damn, it's diluted the ink. Now it's illegible. Right. It's All right. I am today. just. I need to stop being conservative on my jelly, and just risk it for the biscuit. So let's see what Volner has in his bookcase. Inspect the books, analyze the works, understand the titles. <laughs> Not surprising. Most of these works are in German and one in Latin. Longini militis fabulum. Ah. What Something have we here? on the. 
It looks like a yes. kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly, Volnar has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Mm, I'd better keep this one, though. Damn, that's all I need. Maybe he knows something about the lance. What happened? You, you've lost. It happens to the best of us. Runs in the family, I, I suppose. Yeah, it's an accident. To tell you the truth, an I. Accident? Are you joking? You have lost your hand, Louis. I should have figured We've out the ink blot. something. It's been done. I've been given treatment. Rest assured. I admit that I didn't truly realize the consequences of my recklessness. So uh, just stay calm. Yes, yes, of course. But Louis, it's your hand. I know. Please, look. There's nothing I can do about it. I know. I made a mistake, but it's too late now. It was an accident. I, I only love wanted how to quickly he moves on from the fact he lost his I hand. I fell into a trap. The result is appalling. <laughs> I, I grant you that, but at least I can guarantee that we're all perfectly safe here on this island. And you joke about it? Am I dreaming? No, sir, but let's be realistic. So many world leaders brought together in one place, and there are no safeguards? The error indeed mm. stems from my recklessness. I, I went can't looking keep here being reckless. and there and searched my mother, and I had an accident. It's my own fault. Fine. We will drop this uh, incident. <laughs> Why are you here? What are you doing in my room? Oh, shit. I was looking for you, the lances. I think... I was looking for you, nothing. Uh, it's gonna cost us less to just tell him. Well, sir, I see you have some captivating books and you seem to be rather interested in the famous Longinus. No, I, it's, uh, what's it to do with you? I overheard you speaking with Piaggi. What are you two up to exactly? No, no that was probably I, not the right thing to say. Uh, fine, yes. We are looking for the Holy Lance. That imbecile has given Mortimer all the ones kept in the private collection of the Holy See. But it, it's not what you think. All the ones? I... Hang on a minute. You're the one looking for the Lance. No, Don't I... take me for a fool. You are looking for the Holy Lances. So are you. We're no different. Also, let's see what he's uh, susceptible to. Uh, who am I talking to? Volner. Oh, I never discovered his weaknesses or strength. What are you so afraid of? I'm only looking for the right one. I'm not looking for the lances of Longinus. I don't Longinus care if I lose Volner. Jelly I'm now. For the lance of Longinus, the one that pierced Christ's side. You are playing with fire. Don't take it the wrong way. I'll leave you all the copies. Don't worry about that. Good answer. What are you playing, hmm. Mortimer's All right, I can't fail this last one. Lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah, I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! Mm. You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. Why would You're I give it to Sir Gregory? You're looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? What? Make up for Piaget's mistakes. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, I want to give it to home. No, you jackass. <laughs> Subterfuge is level two cost. For you, Volner. I kind of just want to say no. It might start another dialogue. All right, all right, calm down. I don't give a damn about getting you and Sir Gregory's bad books. Look at yourself, goddammit. You're ridiculous. Oh, not the right don't answer. Don't think you're going to fool me so easily. Okay, not the if right answer, damn it. Final, okay, Gregory, last chance. Then why do you want it? <sighs> Make up for Piaget's mistakes for you, Volner. I think if I say for him, he'll know I'm lying. Oh, gosh. Ah, not the gumdrop buttons. Mr. Von Volner, would you be so kind as to calm yourself down, please? All I'm trying to do is make amends for his eminence's errors. Sir Gregory should surround himself with better people, if you want my opinion. But <sighs> Piaggi is a friend of my mother's. What? I, you want to help Piaggi? I just told you, that's what my mother would do if she was here. I heard you in the corridor and... Okay, I think that's the right answer. He trouble because of the lances. I'm only trying to help him. Ah. Yes. All right, Louis. I thought you were trying to manipulate me, but no. please, uh, excuse me. I got a little bit uh, carried away. 
but you Everybody's can't on get edge ahead here. by staying in the shadows on a case like this. There are already several of us searching for the Lance of Longinus. And it would be smarter to pool our information. Unfortunately, I, oh. I barely made any progress. I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. But it also one. took us quite some time to discover its true shape. Many believe the central part of the head of the Lance to be covered in gold. Whereas, in truth, copper. its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. That does make yep. sense. In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, that is the perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side <sighs> of Christ. Anyway, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. Wait, keep that's me all? Posted as to your research. We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. See you later. I feel like we could have gotten more from him in that situation if we all know the same stuff. I managed to get the biography of Longinus the Centurion. Let's see what it can teach me. Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The what fish. did I tell you? The only downside is I didn't need to spend the jelly to figure that out. I, I knew. Like, I already knew, and I would have found that out later had I just relaxed uh the tower room could still have something there were kind of other things in there Perot's room maybe we should go back and talk to pro 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 god i really need some some jelly yeah oh let's talk to this Pardon guy me, monsieur, but I have oh. to do. nope never mind that's on me as I was. We haven't talked to him since he did that attempt on his life. Dear Monsieur Pringle, okay, we've already life. read that. I'll retrieve it later. He's probably not in here anymore. Never mind. He wouldn't even be in here. <gasps> oh, okay. So it's really good to go back through their rooms because we are finding a lot more stuff. Please give me some jelly. Also, we need to look topside. Uh, see anything about the lance? Oh, do you see what I see? Oh, wait, Amber I think it's Christmas. Amber. Oh my God, did that cost me three? That cost me three to reach for that? They've been only costing one. Oh, y'all. Dear friend. Please We've already read that. Me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's about to get really bad in here. I, I don't even have the option to do anything. Oh man. If they don't drop some jelly somewhere. Maybe that was my biggest failure of all so far. <gasps> okay. We're not even close to where we were before. We can't enter that person's rooms. Oh, thank goodness. They are leaving us stuff, you guys. Whose room is this? Oh, we haven't talked to Emily since what happened. We need to talk to her. She might know something about the Lance too, you guys. All I care about is... No, we know that. E and E, now we know that that was between her and her sister, which I think we had suspected anyway, but just in case. <gasps> we don't even need to reach for that. Yes, okay, we've found two books that will be able to help us upgrade down the line. Nothing else that I can read through. Hmm. We're gonna wanna go out the door. Ah, uh, there's more stuff. Very nice. A letter from William Pitt the Younger. Okay, we Just knew that. That was a collector coin. <gasps> there was a box in hers. A from we knew that letter too. To 
accuse the devil for it. Research. Be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Oh, our favorite pillow, you guys. <laughs> uh, all right. So before we head out the door, let's see if we can unlock this. Is this one of the four-letter boxes? Two coils circle the no. lock. Hmm. I think it might be worth unlocking it. Um. Didn't we try to use it? We haven't two circle coin. What if we find the key later? Oh, if I go, or something. It might, yeah. Oh, the letter didn't matter. We don't need that Dear letter Gregory, now. Thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington oh. is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which to my mind makes him potentially dangerous. Mm. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. Unfortunately, right. that doesn't serve Queen me Charlotte. any good now. All the royal and family of England is there, from what I can tell. <sighs> that would have been maybe better. I'm wasting my. <sighs> if we don't find some more jelly that they leave for us, we're gonna be screwed. On the bright side, the body is not here anymore. So that's always nice to know. Let's jump over here. Whose room is this? Oh, we're in... We want to go in Bonaparte's. I actually want to see if there's anything else in his. Oh, we can't. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. I wonder why we can't go into his room now. Right now. Excuse me. Alright, let's go see if we can find any last royal jelly. <laughs> I, I love how, too, I even noted, I was like, okay, I need to be more mindful of my consumption. Just spending, absolutely spending all of my royal jelly on all the wrong things. It's just, it's kind of hard not to. Like, you want to find out more. And also, when it comes to those boxes, a lot of times you find things in it that can be useful, so... Let's talk to Washington. We haven't seen him since he was exploring the tower with us. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. <laughs> One bean. My gumdrop buttons. Ask him directly what he knows about the holy. I'm back yep. on the trail of my mother again. I don't have time to explain, but would you know anything about the holy lance? I, uh, that's good news. But be careful, Louis. You might end up getting noticed. Do you know anything or not? No. I regret I don't. But why not ask Von Wallner? Theology oh, yes. is his field, after all. That's an idea. In that case, I'll try and find him. I think you're you meant to run into him before you find Wallner. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. You're right. Thanks for everything, Mr. President. See you later. Bye bye. All right, that's all we're going to get from him. <gasps> Oh, oh, guys, we have enough to level up all three at the end of this chapter. We have three manuscripts, finally. Uh, all right, let's see if there's any last jelly beans in here. Uh, jelly beans, jelly. <laughs> Clearly, I'm hungry. Um, who's in here? <gasps> Give me the loot. All right, I knew that was gonna exhaust us. Let's just pop that and that tea looked like a jelly. I got excited. I'm like anything else. I'm not spending these jellies at all. I'm moving a little slow because I chill. Okay. 
I mean, it kind of makes sense. We had already discovered so many manuscripts to start with, so I, I kind of would have been surprised if we had a... Uh... Wait, I think we want to go to the study, and we want to go into the secret room. <gasps> oh, that's nice. The water is the most useful for us right now. It's kind of like free jelly in a way, so it's definitely worth it. Um, all right, we're looking here. I have a feeling they might have left us something in here. Nope. No. But let's go into the... Nope, wrong way. Let's go into the room. We want to... Wait, this is outside. Hold on. We came through there, so we want to go over here. There we go. I need to go into that secret room again and see if he has any, maybe, artifacts on, on the situation. Hold on, there were three things. <gasps> A fragment of amber. Oh. Amber. Did this... The song of Roland. Oh, yeah. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either by ear. ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. I think we've... <gasps> I think we've heard, like, that maybe every time I pass it. One day it'll make sense and it'll, it'll be of use to me. One day. <gasps> oh, you can't read the book, just the painting. All right, let's see. Ah, Devil's Thorn. We're never lacking Devil's Thorn. <gasps> oh. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. So much Devil's Thorn. I won't let me get into the secret room. Hmm. You know, maybe the second time around it would have turned into jelly. <laughs> let's go look at the map. I think that being said, I'm... Do you want to find a... Do you want to? Love how I'm asking. All right, I must find the Holy Lance. Volner's information, the lance is copper rimmed. Genesis mentions a shiny metal. Piaggi said it was the shape of a leaf. The statue of it shows it was in the shape of a leaf. Discrete fish symbol, we know that. And we know that... Okay, so we have two fish symbols, two coppers. I mean, I, I feel like search for more clues or go pick one spear. I, I think it's time to go pick one spear. The thing is, your girl's been really going negative lately today. I feel like a lot of my choices are biting me in the butt. I'm also just... Is that... I'm like trying to remember if any of the, you know, things that we had read earlier had something to do with it. And I just didn't realize it. Actually, we want to go back out to the garden. So we need to actually go back into this room. Into the second one. So I can't think of like any other clues that would really sacred text artistic depictions i'm wondering if we're missing like a key artistic depiction let's double check all of the paintings in here because we really haven't utilized this room for a whole lot you know what else my room in particular has some pretty dark paintings in it i want oh Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved? Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Reserved for the Duke? I think we should go into my room, you guys. Just because there's all of the, like, I would say kind of like horrific paintings all happen to be isolated into my room. It's like they knew. Uh, it still cost me two to unlock this bad boy. No, we're leaving it. I'm being conservative with my jelly. Let's go ahead and head upstairs so we can see. To my room. 
That's the only other room I could really think that would have the spear indications. All right, we're gonna need to, oh, let's go to Adam's room too, if we can even get into it. I'm just hoping for like one more jelly maybe. I went the wrong way. This way. Hmm. Is it this one? Yep, Adam's room. Let's pop back in here, see if there's any jelly. Also see if there's anything that leads us to more demonic knowledge. Oh. All right, I've retrieved everything. Yes. Wait, it just said I've retrieved everything. Oh, maybe it needed you to explore almost all the rooms you could. Ah, very interesting. Yeah, I think I had to look through almost all the rooms. So I don't even think I need to go into my room, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. That room is terrifying. All right, we need to go all the way down here. Nope. Any elixir? I feel like I'm, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get to the point where I absolutely need to solve it. And I'm gonna throw it because I don't have enough. But we do have two waters, and I think that's one of the more important things. Um, did we ever check my upper section of... That's the same book on... Yeah, no. All right, look for... Wait a minute. That wasn't always there? This one only costs one, and it could yield more stuff. Golden elixir. I don't know if I would say that it was worth it. All right, anything about a spear? Nothing up there. You know, just casually two fingers going into an open wound. The usual. This is new. Oh, when did I have royal jelly there? Maybe it would have been smart to go back to my room more often. They could have possibly been refilling it every time. I don't need to read that. I feel like this is interesting. Last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. I just wanted to be sure. Let's go outside too. I know we've been outside before. I forgot that I had one of the rooms facing. Oh! Always double thorn. No bugs. And then somebody else's room. Let's peep around. No jelly. All right, let's go. To. Cornwall's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. I can't remember if we've ever been in the Cardinal's room. Dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me from joining you. I couldn't even tell you if we've ever been in his room. Maybe once. Is that Devil's Thorn? No. I'm not using three agility now. I upgraded my agility because I thought it would help me reach more things <gasps> let's go i have a lot of gold too so i'll go ahead and just refill all my jelly all right i think we already looked at that his rooms are like exactly how i'd imagine them to look all right um i feel like if we consume one more set of jelly we will need to pop a golden elixir Amber crystals. Hey. All right, we filled it up one more time. He has a lot of uh, naked women in his. <gasps> oh, we're so close. We need one more. 
Or wait, no. That was a completely different thing. No. Yeah, we found one more. The handwritten notes by Lord Mortimer. We need just one more to be able to complete that one as well. All right, I did get... No, I didn't get more time. Oh! John the Baptist. We got a little. Youth the Ram, a Caravaggio. A very sensual vision and very far from the usual... It is very sensual. There we go. Pop the gold elixir and then top up right Venus here. Venus Cupid with a satyr by Correggio. Innocence and discretion and lechery. And Just then... Just uh, honey. I couldn't have hoped for better. Oh. Let's have a look at his personal papers. Oh. Of course. It's in Latin. The language of the church. Whoever said, uh, you don't get rewarded for exploring? <laughs> Thank you, mother, for teaching me this language. I'm not able to translate these notes. Let's translate it. Could be like, I don't know. All those hours of learning Latin declensions are going to pay it off could in the possibly end. have something mother to do with it. Proud. I feel like I should have found this sooner. Let's say a sancte. Various representation criteria, of which are shown the most common throughout the centuries, and in different forms. Piaggi's notes are anything to go by. <gasps> the weapon I'm looking for is shaped like a tapered spear. Well, that should help me identify it. I think we should keep looking, like at every single room until we're ready. I can't make another fatal mistake. The Cardinal's not in his room. Uh, I bet he went back to stuffing himself. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. With all the pies they have around, I'm not surprised. That was kind of important, but I, I are some of the options not tapered? I would imagine a spear would be tapered at the tip. Regardless. Whose rooms are these? Piaget's. Washington's. Let's go back the other way because I do want to... I don't think... Oh, unless Washington's hiding something. This is my room. Keep going down the hallway. I'm so thankful for them placing more jelly. We're almost topped up. All right, we can't go into Godoy's room. Yeah, let's head down. Uh, I think now's a better time than I need to pick out which spear it's going to be. The only thing I could think of is going out the front door, which, yeah, it's not going to let us. So I think what we need to do is go around. So let's go around, go to the garden, go all the way down. This is why fast travel should exist. But we might run into somebody on the way. Or they might have put jelly in this area. Piaget's not here anymore. Hmm. At least you can run. I hate the noise it makes when you're running on this. Oh. I just don't understand what the the last piece that we found really helps us with. Okay. Okay, first try, I can get this. Oh wait, wait, I'm coming out at a different angle. Hold on. I'm not used to this angle. Nope, I'm going this way. I'm not going this way. I'm not going this way. Not first try. If I was at it at the other angle, I would be getting first try. Unless this was all meant for me to be able to get some item. Nope. Come on. Is this one all a giant trap? I can't remember. Okay, you can get to it through this way. Ooh. Um. I almost wish I had, I don't know, I, I wonder, part of me was like, let me go look at the spears first, but I thought that if I went any further, I wasn't gonna be able to come back and look for it. And the piece about the insignia on the tip of the spear is going to come in handy, as well as copper. Although, I know you guys are gonna roll your eyes at this, but I really wouldn't have pro I, I could say confidently I wouldn't have picked like a bright gold one. Oh alright. It's not creepy at all. There are gonna be traps. That's what we have to be afraid of. But at this point I've already lost my hand and I seemed pretty like 
I didn't seem bothered by the fact that I lost my hand, so... I don't think anything could be that bad now. The sarcophagus is engraved with the name Clemens of Clemens III. III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Wow. I know that name, Translate. That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the yep. Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. Clemens the Third. Yep. Clément III in French. How come his tomb ended up here and not in the Vatican? Because it's a demon. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. The stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. I was going to say that it's very legible. But I guess that's what happens when you're stuck in a nice, dark, damp area. Any uh, royal jelly up in this bin? I feel like going down here is a bad idea. There's nothing good out of this. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I think we have to go right side, actually. Ah, I can't go. Who is this? This one has no name. I Unmarked grave. It's marked this for one me. Has no name. I wonder who it was for. There's nothing down here. Hmm. Why would Clemens the Third be down here? That's what we need to start asking. Clemens the Third had the cross. I mean, honestly, those symbols and things we had to get. They were utilized in opening this, so they hold some significance to Mortimer slash demon. So we're probably going to find all the graves of things that have a connection to them, possibly. Another no name. But. Of course. Why is it always Devil's Thorn? Another? No, this one has a name. Flavius Aetius. Ah, uh, vanquished. I was taught. I remember. He was the Roman general who defeated Attila and his hordes in the terrible battle of the Catalonian Plains. Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated mm -hmm. by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Let's ask about Flavius it one more time. Flavius Aetius. It was cut a long time ago. You could tell by the rough hacks of the tool and the patina of the stone. This sarcophagus is it very It looks ancient. much older, I'd yeah. say it's several centuries old. Jeez. I don't want to waste any of our any of our abilities right now. I need to be ready for when the moment comes and I need to kill Mortimer. Oh. That's the tip of a spear. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. Does it have like I can make sun? Out a it has a yeah. sun engraved on the tip. I mean, let's take I must it. Must be sure of my choice. I, I really don't want to get it wrong. I watch I'm this be sure like the easiest the choice ever. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I didn't know we were actually. Okay, I didn't think we were actually. That was like an option. They're everywhere. This one's gold. Immediately, no. Examine. I didn't. I was thinking. Okay, Here we're we all gonna take them together. Has a leaf shape is gold rimmed, and a fish is engraved on the tip. Oh wait. Well, examine again. Can see this lance has a leaf shape is gold rimmed. I don't see a fish. A fish is engraved on the tip. Okay, but that's a gold rimmed. So we that that can't possibly be it. We need to continue. Let's go this way. It needs to say copper. Copper alloy. The sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's yeah, that one's even ageless, older. I guess. It's entirely sculpted. Is there some strong roots literally coming out of the coffin? <laughs> Alright, let's see something. These symbols. These grooves. Cuneiform script. This is humanity's oldest alphabet. Wow. The language of Babel. <laughs> Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek. Sargon. Sargon. Hmm. All right, we're going to leave that one. I wonder if where the spears are found is... <gasps> Great. 
create balls of fire. Pop that royal jelly. Oh, I think that gave us two, actually. Well, we can see that this lance has a particular spear shape. Oh. It is coated in gold. You can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip. Barely noticeable. The gold is... The gold is gonna be a no. But that one was both, right? Or the, or the other one did say gold. I need to be absolutely sure. Oh, here's the lance. Okay. Examine. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape. Leaf and, shape? Well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Okay, that's not even an option, so leave that one. And this is an unmarked grave. It's not even close. We haven't even seen a spear that hasn't been gold. Okay, this one has too much around it. This seems like it's the one. Let's take a look at this I think the game's here. trying to be like, yo. It has a very special leaf shape. Special it is copper leaf. rimmed and copper rimmed. I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. <laughs> All right, let's leave it for now. I just feel like that is way too obvious. But everything about this game is obvious, right? I feel like it would be one of the ones on the ground, not one that's on a podium. This lance has the shape of a boar spear. The nope. blade is partially coated in copper and I no, can just wrong. make out Everything. the symbol of the eye of Ra engraved on the tip. Ah, uh, is the obvious one really it? I also feel like it wouldn't have blood on it. This lance has no. It would have blood shape. on it. It is copper rimmed. It would. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. It would have the blood on it, right? Like it would have the blood of Christ on it. It couldn't be one of the ones that's not clean. All right. The lance is copper rimmed. Shiny, it mentions a shiny metal. A shape of a leaf. Shaped like a spear. Discreet fish symbol on the tip. What's weird is there's nothing about, like it didn't hold, like these are all the notes that are applicable to what we're looking at, right? But, you would just have to know that it pierced the side and his right side at that and it did draw blood unless is that the whole thing is I that it see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape No. it is clearly made of iron and i can make out a sun and definitely not the it tip. oh you guys honey um, the remedy of the gods honey oh this is not easy the blood is the the blood is the determining factor. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Ooh. Trade unlocked. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family yep. name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. I want to force uh, inspect the, the let's inspect the detail in first. Crypt, which appears to bear the Mortimer I kind of want to force it open. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Do we disturb the dead? There's no better time to use it. Ha! <laughs> Great. Now let's see what's inside. Royal jelly. Royal jelly and. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. And royal jelly. Let's see what we can find here. Is there anything in it? Ha! Huh. Great. Now let's see what's inside. It won't let me get up close. And it doesn't speak to anything that's inside except for the fact that I got royal jelly. You hate to see it. So here's my thought. Um, we know it's not that one. 
Oh, it's not that one. Oh no, it could be that one. The two that I'm deciding between, all the other ones before this were gold, right? This is the most obvious choice, but it doesn't have blood on it. No, it does. Oh shit. Then it's probably this one. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special very leaf shape. Very special leaf it is shape. copper rimmed and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. All right, let's relook at this. Um, it shows the shape of a leaf, shape of a leaf. Nothing about a very special shape. And then the fish symbol is engraved. We know that. Wasn't there one of that it, it was shaped like a spear? Then what is the other one? What's the difference between that one and that one is not the, that one's not it either. This one. This lance has a leaf shape. It is okay. copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. So we're really, we're really having to decipher between shape of a leaf and a very special shape of a leaf. I think we need to go back and talk to people. This one just said shape of a leaf. Let's double, triple, quadruple check. And this does say a very special. But it gives us this crazy cutscene-ish. Just... Let's take a look at this lance here. But I think it's meant it to lead us astray. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and... I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. A very special? Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and... I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. <sighs> You guys, I think we need to go back and talk to Volner. Like, I really don't want to have to do that. Can you actually fast travel? And I've... Okay. I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a way to fast travel. I almost want to go back and talk to Volner. I just truly believe that... It was just shaped like a spear. Shaped... Wait, wait. It was shaped like a spear. Right, it was, hold on, was in the shape of a leaf, shaped like a spear, but in the shape of a leaf. They look the, uh, they look the same. The only difference is that one is in front of a cross. Oh my God. It says a very special leaf, but nothing in our notes says very special. Oh my God. I feel like that's the obvious option. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go talk to Volner. We need to be absolutely sure. And I'm not, and I'm not willing to risk it and ruin the entire, the entire ending of this. What was this one, by the way? That one was gold. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry, y'all. I just want to be absolutely sure. <laughs> All right. All signs point to the one in front of the cross. And the fact that it says a very special leaf shape does... It does intrigue me. But... Okay, hold on. Let's, let's double read this. Double, the triple Bible must check. mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. Mm, remember, find the clue. Search the Four gospels. gospels. each give an account of the death of Christ. Let's see what they can tell oh, yeah, me I about actually want to hear all four. According to... There's okay. nothing about the lance in this account of the okay. crucifixion. All right. There's no mention of the lance in what Luke says about the death of Christ. Should be this in John. This apostle does not mention the lance in his description of the death of Christ. Ah, there. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not, they his, broke legs. not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a shimmering lance That's all pierced we knew. his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness. And his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true. 
that ye might believe. A shimmering lance. That's all we found Where's out. We already knew that. All right, let's get out of here. We need to talk to Volner. I just need like one more, like one piece. A very special leaf shape. I know last episode I even talked about trusting my gut and the game seems to be like offering hints of, you know, like it being on the nose. Oh. Let's go to the map. There's not a faster way to get out of here. I'd rather be like double, triple sure. If we're going by what's on the nose, it's going to be the one in front of the cross. But I'm sitting here like there's there's got to be trickery. But me, I think I'm I think I mind <laughs> I'm mind playing myself. I'm like reverse psychology. <laughs> I'm thinking it's so much more complex than it really is. All right, where was Volner? He was in his room. Yes. All right, let's try to talk to him. Ooh, wait, what? Why does it say his door is right here? What the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm facing the wrong way. Volner! I can't talk to him right now. What? Doesn't make sense. Oh, okay, the other room. Yeah, maybe we can talk to him about some of the other stuff that we found. This is the tower. This is in Volner's room. That was not... I also, in line with like mind games, right? My head is telling me too. We need to find both of them. I can't find Piaget or... Well, no. Um, my head is also telling me that they would expect you to not go down to the end one. And so you would just pick the first one, possibly. I think they're downstairs, y'all. I think they're downstairs. They have to be. They're not in the hallway. Yeah, let's check right here. Volner! This is gonna be bad news bears. <laughs> I already know, like I can just see it. I'm gonna go with my gut, which is telling me to pick the one in front of the cross. And I am gonna lose it. Double check with everything. Good evening, Mr. President. Anything else? Be? I already asked that. Hard to kill time on this island. Nothing ever happens. Gets a bit boring, don't you think? I wish you just back out of conversations. <laughs> I'm sure you're just being ironic. Yes and no. It's true that the manor is full of books and works of art. Unfortunately, the subjects are restricted to Lord Mortimer's specific tastes. The Crusades, religion... Yes, All right, I should have picked true. the one that I already knew. By the way, have you noticed the representations of the Holy Lance he's got all over the place? Discreet fish symbol. I love how it says a discreet uh, fish symbol, no. though. It was the last thing in my mind, to be honest. Oh, well, that's a pity. I would have enjoyed chatting about it, as I would have done with my mother. All right, See let's get later. out of this conversation. <laughs> He's clearly not interested. I have a feeling you can't re-talk to Volner and Piaget. Because if I ran through here before and, and they weren't in here, they're not going to be in here now, unless they're up in... I think I haven't checked Lord Mortimer's study. Maybe we'd be able to find something. Special leaf-like shape. It's two on the nose. That was Burr's room. All right, we went in there, but it didn't really offer us anything of uh, great use. We can't even enter this person's room, which was 
think I'd know by now. Bonaparte has big rooms. Oh wait, we can. We can. Let's double check. Double, triple, quadruple check everything. We've been in here. We haven't? I don't know. <laughs> Every room looks the same now. Dear Monsieur, now we know that. Left. Wait, this is Perot's room. Perot. Later. We've been in here. We did go in here. This is not of use to us. Bonaparte's Perot's tower. Von Volner. Yeah. We just need to go up to the top. I also think they just removed some of the people. They're all waiting for me to make my decision. <laughs> I really think I messed up with Piaget's confrontation. I wonder if that would have yielded any additional information. Okay. That spear is nothing like it. it is what it is. I feel like the use of the word special is also just trying to like scream at you. Pick this one. We're just going to have to decide. Yeah, there's there's nothing. Those are the two letters I've read before other than looking at the Oh, you know what? Let's just there is one thing that we can exhaust completely. We did not use the other option on this because I didn't want to spend. Saint or Rogers. I had already spent Let's take some. Let's a closer look at his lance. Let's just do. He's shaped like a leaf, but like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? Yeah, Mortimer is a deceiver. No, this is too easy. Mortimer's trying to throw me off the track again. It seems too visible to be true. Impossible not to see the statue on first glance, given its size. And Mortimer has no interest in making the shape of the true lance so easy to see. Oh. I think this statue does represent Longinus, armed with a lance that wounded Jesus. That the does not help. Lance. How can I find out if this is an exact representation? There's no way of being certain. I bet you then. It just said a leaf shape, right? So what if the special leaf shape is it? It's gotta be. Do you guys see how damn torn I am right now? I, I should have put the heart rate monitor on for this. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it all. We need to go all the way to the other side. I'm not a huge fan that you have to walk around every single time, but it's okay. Uh... Also, we haven't seen home in a long, long time. They all must be at dinner without me. We just have to do this to the best of our abilities. Mortimer is a deceiver. He's deceptive by nature. But we know based on two things that it's spear light or it's um it's shaped like a leaf. And it's it has the fish and we know that it's copper the lance is copper rimmed shape of a leaf shows it in the shape of a leaf the statue shows it in the shape of a leaf piaggi says it's in the shape of a leaf but then by translating piaggi's notes i learned i learned it was shaped like a spear i learned it was shaped like a spear I noticed a discreet fish symbol engraved on the tip of the lance of the Longinus statue. In the biography of Longinus, Lance is described as being engraved with it. Um, let's look at this. Where were the translations? I thought there was a translation. Piaget's letter sealed. No. The problem is reading. That's that's so confusing. Hold on. That's really confusing. Do you think he told us it was in the shape? Oh, my God. All right. Piaget said it was in the shape of a leaf and the Loginus shows it in the shape of a leaf. But if Mortimer is trying to be deceptive and we failed Piaget in the confrontation, what if he told us it was in the shape of a leaf, but it wasn't? 
By translating Piaget's notes, I learned it was in the shape like it was shaped like a spear. By translating Piaget's notes. So maybe he was being deceptive because he didn't trust us. So it might not be a leaf shape at all. Which would make sense because then it wouldn't be as hard to decipher which one it was. So maybe it's copper in the normal shape of a spear. And... And this is so hard. I'm my own worst enemy. Do you guys see this right now? My head is running wild. <laughs> and I just wasted time doing that. Well, what more can we lose? We've only just lost our hand, so. I'm starting to think that it's shaped like a normal spear, but I don't even know if a normal spear copper with a fish exists, but if it does, I'm gonna pick it. I think we should pick it. It's shaped like a spear. It would be a normal shape. There weren't any over there, right? Did we even look on the ground over here? I know I'm just acting a fool right now. Amber. I barely saw that. I want to be so sure of our choice because if we think if we pick the wrong one, I don't know what's going to happen. The cardinal. Just the unmarked grave. That will soon become mine when I pick the wrong thing. And there wasn't one down there. This is nail biting. <laughs> it is really cool. I still find it hard to believe that this is all underneath this massive island. And there's just crypts over there, too. All right, we know that the first one. OK, let's start from the beginning. We know this one isn't it because it's gold. We know it's copper rimmed. That we know because Volner told us. And I truly do believe Volner on that one. Let's look at this one. This one is sheer, uh, spear shaped. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is an iron or steel, I think. I can make out a rising sun and Okay, this one's not it because of that. All right, one last time. We know that it's copper rimmed. The statue of Longinus shows it in the shape of a leaf. Piaget said it was in the shape of a leaf. But we failed that. Like, we failed that on both accounts. But by translating Piaget's notes, I learned that it was shaped like a spear. I think, I think it's a normal, I think it's a normal shape. I'm probably going to fail here, but... I'm, I'm definitely confusing myself, but I don't care. This one's not it either. Yeah. Mortimer, like it wouldn't have had the statement about Mortimer deceiving people. And I have to remember that I did mess up my conversation with Piaget. So therefore he didn't trust me. Whereas through, I learned about the copper thing because I completed my confrontation with Volner. That makes total sense. That one's gold? I can't tell. Yeah, that one's gold. Well, I'll just double check. Yeah, that one's gold. But just, just in case. <laughs> we can see that this lance has a leaf shape. Okay, we don't want a leaf shape. Gold, I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Not this. It might not even exist. The copper one in the shape of a normal spear. All right, this is our most likely suspect. If we were going off of what everybody was saying. Let's take a look at this lance here. And the one that it happens has to be in front of the cross. a special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. A special leaf shape. A special leaf shape. This one is completely not it, right? This one is the 
the Egyptian, yeah, hieroglyphics. This one, hold on. Oh, that's even weirder. That one has the shape of a fish, but not how it's just not how it's. I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Mortimer is the king of deception, right? It's just these ones make more sense. Lance They're not has fancy. A leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. Also, the way that the fish was outlined doesn't make sense. This one was gold, I think, down here. Or there wasn't one down here. Okay. I think it's the one in the middle. I really do. I'm probably gonna regret this. Oh wait, what was this one? <laughs> Hold on. This is so nerve-wracking. I hope you guys I can feel see this. That this lance has a so-called leaf shape. So-called. It is clearly made of iron, and no. I can make out a sun nope. engraved on the tip. I think it's the middle one. The other two are so close that I I don't and this one has this one kind of has an indication. I mean, it's on this platform in the circle in the center. Okay, let's look at it. Shiny metal. And it talks about a shiny metal. That might be the indication. So it's copper rimmed, which falls in line with everything else we heard because uh, he wouldn't have been able to afford a full gold thing, right? But it talks about a shiny metal, which would indicate the middle piece. Piaggi said it was in the shape of a leaf, but I failed that. So he probably tried to trick us. And then also the statue shows it in the shape of a leaf with the fish uh, horizontal instead of vertical. But by translating Piaggi's notes, we learn that it's in the shape of a spear. And, the, and he noticed a discrete fish symbol. A discrete fish symbol. Examine I can it. see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol but the of the Christian fish on the tip. A normal copper one wouldn't be shiny. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? Confidence. Confidence. We already lost our hand. Confidence. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I kept going back and forth on that. I was all over the place, y'all. But I just, I think I was, I was honing in on key words that I wasn't thinking about the deception at play. And I probably just mind played myself. But. And there's only one way to find out. I think this would play long. Like, I didn't think. I kind of disregarded the comment about the shiny piece until I was actually looking at the copper rimmed. And it could still be copper rimmed, but not with the shiny piece. Oh, that scared me for a second. This has got to be it. I just got to figure out the best way to get down there. I think we have to go through the middle. There's no way we're not going to run into somebody. I wonder if the other people have even gotten as far as the crypt. No, oh. that's not good. I've chosen the Lance. Uh, I did not succeed in convincing Cardinal Piaggi to help me, which is why he probably told us a lie. I have not found all the clues enabling me to identify the Lance of Longinus, and I did not find all the copies of the Lance of Longinus kept by Lord Mortimer. We might have just got fucked. I failed a lot, but I also succeeded a lot too. Oh, guys, this is going to go one way or the other. <laughs> I've, I've honestly committed so far at this point. All right, let's go ahead and pause right there. We just got the leap of faith. 
Um, and, and we'll see. We'll find out what happens. We'll find out what happens next. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I know a couple of them. I've been including multiple chapters. Um, and then for this one, like we're just covering one chapter. It's just the length of them are so all over the place. But I hope you guys are still enjoying this playthrough. And thank you so much for taking time out of y'all's lives to be here. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. Bye.